Now, another data type that we can put in or use in our websites is something called a number. We've looked at a string here, which is just a hunk of text, but we can also have a number. So let's say we make a new variable called my age. Maybe we'll just call it age to make it simpler. So now I can set uh, an age here. Let's go with 32. And you'll notice that when I put a number, when I use a number, it's not surrounded in quotes. So numbers are not surrounded in quotes, but they are surrounded, or but strings are surrounded in quotes. So numbers are like this. So that's uh, just a regular integer. I could have another number here, um, another number, and we could do a negative number, negative 452, like that. Or we could have a decimal number, so 65.4321. So that is also another way to write numbers. So numbers can have no decimal places, they can be negative, and they can be um, decimals. Now, just like when we did strings up here, we use strings to combine the strings together, or we use pluses to combine the strings together. If we were to use numbers with a plus, we would actually add them together. So if I could go, I could go alert th uh, age plus num like that, and now it will actually take 32 and add it with 65 like that, and we'll get 97 point whatever. So we can do addition, we could also do subtraction, like this, I'll just change this to subtraction. Now we got negative number, um, we can do division, all right, and we can do multiplication. All right, the last thing we can do is actually called modulo, which will do division, but then give us the remainder. So we have different ways that we can manipulate numbers. We can add them together and multiply them, divide them, and all that sort of stuff that you're used to using. Now right here, I'm actually alerting the age plus the num. But I could also create a new variable, let's call it new number, and that could actually be equal to other variables together. So I could go uh, num minus age, like that, and then when I do an alert, of new num, it's actually going to output whatever the combination of these. So when we're creating this new variable here called new num, we're taking the content of this variable up here, num, and we're minusing the content of age, and that's what new num is now equal to. So new num is 33 point whatever. So with numbers, we don't use quotes around them. They can have ne be negative or they can be decimals, and we can use any sort of mathematical things that we want to them. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulo, which is getting the remainder after you divide.